as we are now into 2024, I just want to go over all the TV, films and music that I'm anticipating. Now, when it comes to TV shows, films and music, not all of them have been announced. And so I'm just talking about the ones that, that I know will come out this year and some that I'm speculating are coming out this year. Let's start with TV. Now, I have separated TV into four categories mainly because some shows are speculated to come out this year, some have trailers out but we're not 100% sure when they'll be released, and some shows we just know that are going to come out, it's just when they are being announced. Let's start with shows that we know are coming out because of release dates. At number one we have Ted, the TV prequel series. To me this is the most anticipated show so far for me as I'm a huge Ted fan and just by the trailer alone I cannot wait. Next is True Detective season four which is very interesting to me as it's not only just a new season but it's a new writer for the show and now set in quite a different setting compared to the other seasons, that being Alaska, but we still have great actors like Jodie Foster being one of the main characters. Honestly, the show seems very promising and I actually can't wait. And lastly is BMF Season 3. I'm really interested as the second season was a really cool watch and I'm hoping the same for the third, especially of how Season 2 ended. And lastly for this category is Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 12, a show I'm looking forward to, yet sad to say goodbye to as well, as this will be the final season of Larry David's Wacky Adventures. Let's hope it goes out of a bang, metaphorically speaking, not literally. Now to move on to TV shows with trailers but no release dates, the first being The Boys Season 4. Now this show has been nothing but greatness and I hope the fourth season is the same and hopefully with what happened in Gen V we see the playing field being levelled again. Next is The Penguin, a DC show which looks very promising. Seeing the aftermath of what happened in The Batman and seeing The Penguin rise to the opportunity of being the crime boss of Gotham. On to our third category, TV shows we know will be released this year but without a release date so far. Firstly is Power Book 2 Season 4. After a great cliffhanger of an ending, I can't wait to see Tariq and Braden get into war with the Tahatas and his old connect as well. Next is Bosch. Legacy Season 3. Most of you know I loved Bosch since its inception and when it came to Bosch Legacy I really enjoyed it. I loved the cliffhanger and I just can't wait to see how they resolve what was a very good cliffhanger for this season. And lastly it is now the TV shows that could possibly come out this year but also next year. Starting with Cobra Kai Season 6. Now this show has always been amazing. I've really enjoyed the fact that this show is technically a follow up to the very original Karate Kid films. The stakes are definitely going to be higher in this particular season and I'm all for it. Now admittedly whilst this is being said, the show is being filmed at this particular moment and so we are likely to get it as early as probably December or as late as 2025. I'm hoping for the former, maybe even earlier, depending on how much they need to film. Next is Terminator, the anime series. Now, we've got a trailer, but sadly it's showing nothing particular, especially when it comes to the anime side. But even though we have seen nothing, I'm still quite intrigued. And I think this is a step in the right angle for the franchise, and I'm here to see it. Next is Tomb Raider, the anime series. Now, at this moment in time, there have been two announcements for Tomb Raider. One from Netflix's point of view about an anime series but also Prime are planning to do not only a film but a TV show connecting to that film as well. I'm going to be talking about the animated series as that is more likely to come out this year than the Prime TV show. The anime show in question from the trailer alone it looks to be somewhat around the 2013 game. It looks very similar to that. Again, I'm all for it. And finally, wrapping up on the anime section of TV shows, we have Splinter Cell, the anime series. Now, this was announced four years ago, and let's hope that this is the year we finally see Sam Fisher in anime form. Not only that, but this could also be used as a way to promote the remake of the original Splinter Cell, something I'm very much looking forward to playing. And lastly, the TV show Waller, another DC show, which I really can't wait to watch, it is a spin-off of Peacemaker focusing on the character of Amanda Waller which I find very interesting and she's a quite a unique character. Now what this does mean is that Peacemaker season 2 does have to take a backseat but at the same time I feel like this show would just be as interesting 
and I can't wait. Just the idea alone sounds fascinating to me. Now on to music, but before we go and talk about the projects that I hope to hear, I do have to let you know that this is all on speculation and rumours. None of this is set in stone, so please do not take my word for gospel. It's just all speculation. I don't want people believing what I'm saying is 100% correct because YouTubers have done that and it really does not do well with their credibility. Let's get into the albums. I would go, the first project is The Ballad of Rooster Jenkins by Logic. Now this is an album that's not officially confirmed to come out this year but he has highly talked about it last year after College Park's release and because of that I believe that it could be a 2024 release. However, due to recent information we are led to believe that his next album could be Ultra 85. Now he has somewhat been trolling fans of this for quite some time. 2021 he put out a tweet saying Ultra 85 2024. In the 1st of January he put out a photo on Instagram and with the words Ultra 85 2024. Whether this was a troll or not we do not know. But he has been somewhat on the fence with this saying that it's not real or it's going to be a comic book or it's going to be this or it's going to be that so we're not a hundred percent sure if this is real if ultra 85 is a troll and rooster jenkins is the actual album it might not be the only album to be released as this man loves to release music and he makes music so quickly we have also been teased with an album 10 tracks specifically that he and his producer six recorded in the back of a Maybach that Logic recently purchased so we have two potential projects from that artist possibly three. On to other artists we have DBD or Don't Be Dumb by ASAP Rocky. Now this album has somewhat been teased for about two years or so. The man has been on a hiatus for quite some time and so fans are really anticipating this album but at the same time I can see why it might not drop. Not only because he is now a father of two children and so music will take a backseat but also for legal reasons as he is involved in a court case this year. I'm not going to go into legal specifics, I don't think that's my area of expertise but I can see why with what's going on in his personal life the music will have to take a backseat but who knows he might release it this year. On to other artists we have J. Cole with The Fall Off. Now this album of his has been teased quite a lot ever since 2018 when he released K. OD, it was the last track. Now, in 2023, when he was doing his feature run, the words The Fall Off were mentioned quite frequently throughout his verses, and this makes me wonder if he is planned to drop it anytime soon, and that this year could be that year. The man has a new wave of respect for his talent that has been somewhat missed over the years. There's been a spotlight shined upon it, especially during last year, and so I think this would be a great time not to just drop The Fall Off, but just, just drop a project to really cash in on the hype that is surrounding him. Next is Eminem. Now this is an artist who hasn't dropped an album in four years, but has still been very busy in music from 2021 to 2022, doing a series of features, uh, performances, and really doing quite a lot for his career. But when it comes to the album releases, it's sad to say we haven't had one. And last year alone, he only released two features. Now, this could be for two reasons. So one, he's working on an album, so features are somewhat taking a backseat at the moment, and he's really working on his album. Or that he is just taking a break from music as a whole, and that he'll only do features that he feel are going to send a really good message, or just feel necessary. Now, I do hope it is the full I would hate to see Eminem taking a break again as it's been four years and so I just hope that Eminem is working on something whether it be a solo project whether it be another Bad Meets Evil whether it be an EP anything really on to Tyler the Creator now this is a man who sadly didn't drop an album like I expected but did something just as good giving us seven new songs attached to Call Me If You Get Lost making it a deluxe album with the estate sale now what worries me slash makes me intrigued is in an interview for Rap Radar he mentioned that these seven songs were initially going to be released just before he was going to start tour in 2021 then he delayed it and then was planned to do it again in 
2022 but delayed it before releasing it in 2023. This makes me wonder if it was because of lack of creativity or he was working on another project and those somewhat got sidelined. I hope it is that one but you never know. If he is in the creative process of making an album I don't think it will come out this year. I hope it would, I really do but at the same time I feel like he's going to put more time and effort into it and so 2024 or 2025 will be the year that album comes out but I could be wrong and lastly Kendrick Lamar now I always want to hear more Kendrick he's a great artist it's been nearly two years since his last album and we have seen that he has still got that creative spark when he's working with his cousin which I do hope it's got him back in the studio either making a solo project or making a project with his cousin either way I think us as fans would be very much satisfied whether we get that is up to him now when it comes to films sadly i've only got one in mind and that is deadpool 3 now i'm really excited for this film not only because of ryan reynolds playing the titular character not only because hugh jackman returns as wolverine but because it's an mcu film and i just want to see what they're going to bring as they've got a bigger budget now when it comes to this we are hearing a lot about cameos from the old marvel films like Ben Affleck's Daredevil, Jennifer Garner's Elektra, and I'm just wondering if they're going to add in any of the other Marvel films, because I'm assuming this is a time travel film, and so maybe we get to see Steve Rogers played by Chris Evans, maybe we get to see Iron Man played by Robert Downey Jr., Tom Holland as Spider-Man, the, the things they could do are endless, and I know that would annoy some fan bases in Marvel, but at the same time, to make quite an entertaining film, I'm all for it. That's the only film I'm really anticipating there are going to be other films that come out that have yet to be announced that i'm looking forward to but as of now that is the only film i'm really looking forward to all right that is everything i'm looking forward to in 2024 obviously this is just at the moment there's definitely gonna be so many announcements throughout the year that i'll definitely get excited for but for now that is all i'm looking forward to thank you for watching hope you have enjoyed if you have please like and subscribe but most importantly Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy your new year.